big coin dealers lose money doing this. What do they do to lose money? Why do they want to lose money? And how will this help you with your business if you're wanting to sell coins? Let's get this video started. Most of the time, big coin dealers, small coin dealers, they set out to make a profit. That's what most businesses want to do. And they do make profits on most of their coin dealings, either with buying collections or buying from other dealers. But why do they choose to lose money on certain deals? Well, there's a few reasons for it. The first reason is because they want to have a steady stream of inventory from you as a different coin dealer. So say uh, someone comes to me with a certain amount of coins. I'm going to try to buy as many as possible because I want to have them for future dealings. So say one, one of these coins over here, I only make $5 on or I lose $5 on selling to you. I will gladly accept losing $5 on that coin if that dealer makes $20 on that sale. And the reason being is because I would gladly lose $5 now and then when they sell us coins in the future, we can make $100 on a coin or $50 on a coin or at least have something to offer you guys. The reason why we bring up big coin dealers is because most of the time they have cash readily, readily available. They just don't have people that will give them coins um, in the future. They're feeding a really big beast and so they need people to sell them coins like these today. We bought a lot of coins to show you guys and most of these coins or some of these coins we're only going to make $5 on, $8 on, $10 on. But we, uh, we bought them from a really good guy that we work with uh, every few months and uh, these coins are really nice. He picks really, really good coins out and so we upload these to AcousticCollectibles.com I hope you check those out. What big coin dealers have down really good is that they're looking for the long play. They're looking for what's gonna be happening in the next 10, 15, 20 years. And so they're gonna to try to consume as much market cap as possible in terms of having different people to feed them coins over other dealers giving them coins. And a biggest, our basic, biggest example of this is there's a huge coin outfit near us um, and you could drive anywhere in the country and you can meet different coin dealers from big shops, small shops, vest pocket dealers, and they say, we only sell to these guys. And uh, it's kind of interesting because what we say is, uh, they say, hey, where are you guys from? I said, we're from Houston. They're like, oh, do you know so-and-so down in Houston? I'm like, why, do you sell to them? And they go, yep, they're, they always pay us strong and they've always been nice and treated us well. And, uh, for the time being, that's something that they you know, really value. They get a coin in, they wanna make their money, they wanna move on to something else. And in the meantime, those big coin dealers, they say, hey, we might lose money on this deal, but on the next 10 deals, we'll be cash positive. And so we really should be focusing on that as coin dealers, because if we do that, we can have a steady stream of coins for your customers to have. And so let's take some time, to show you guys these new purchases, and we hope you enjoy them. Alrighty guys, so here is everything. Let's start off top left here. A lot of commands today, but like I said, the dealer that we're working with, he picked out a lot of really good coins, including the Stone Mountain in 65. Mostly Blast White, has a little haste to the coin, but just stunning. Here's one of my favorites of the lot. This is a 1937 Roanoke, absolutely stunning luster. Some of these coins have already sold just because we have Customers that really check our website a lot, so make sure to do so also. We have this Elgin in 66, really flashy coin. Has a little rim toning on the back, but we try to buy PQ coins that have some, uh, that have, you know, just really nice flashy surfaces. Great eye appeal is what we're looking for. We have this 39D in 66 CAC. A little bit of a better date, tougher in 66. Almost a $500 coin, which is crazy. We have this Iowa in 66 CAC. Nice flashy white coin. Just beautiful if you want to put it in a set. Little toning on the reverse there, but in terms of eye appeal, it's, that's the best you can get. A few dimples to show off today. When you're buying a dimple, you want to buy one that actually screams dimple when you look at it. If you covered up this label, you could tell yourself, man, that looks like a dimple. And so this is an 1885 Morgan Dollar in 63 dimple. And it is CAC approved. And when you flip it over, just really nice deep mirrors in the fields. And the details really pop out. 
We have a few 38D Buffalo nickels. Some are toned, some are not toned. We didn't feel like these coins would cack, um, so we just post them on the website. Definitely some neat coins here. Nothing that you don't see every day, but when you're buying them, you know, make a few bucks on them. That's the best you can hope for. We have this really nice 1933D Oregon commemorative half. It's got toning on both sides. Um, the luster is not super strong in the center of the coin. I think it would have went higher if so. But it's uh, you know, a little bit of a tough coin in 66 CAC. And it is uh, just a beautiful coin in this Rattler holder. We have this Lincoln in 64 CAC. Most of the time, these Lincolns come hazy, really, really beat up, and unattractive. This one was nearly blast white. The luster was phenomenal. I'd call it gem luster. And, I mean, just look at these fields. Stunning coin. If you're collecting commems, coins like that, I always love to pick up because somebody else will see it and go, that's something that I really need. 246S uh, Washington Quarters. Semi-proof like on the obverse of these coins, so just really flashy surfaces. I thought they just stood out way above the 46S's that you normally see. I really like those surfaces. So we have a few other coins here, some old type. We have this 1827 Overton 133. I think the rarity is three or four, so it's a little bit tougher to find. CEC approved, and the surfaces are beautiful and original, and it was an affordable coin. This 1827, we have this Overton 132, and it's graded VF25. Stunning original coin. And, uh, yeah, we have this York commemorative half, flashy luster on both sides of the coin. I mean, uh, you know, buying coins like this, we can do it all day long. It's just, they're phenomenal. We have another Stone Mountain in 66 with gorgeous luster. I haven't checked for double die obverses or double die reverses, but I'll try to check after this video. Sometimes, I think I think I'm with a lot of these coins in Stone Mountains, they either have double die obverses or reverses, so make sure to check those when you're uh, at a coin show. Sometimes they carry a little bit of a price bump, and it's just something cool to show your friends. It's 36S Bay Bridge in 64. This coin, I believe, has been dipped, and the luster's not super crazy. It is a white coin, but it is a little stripped in my opinion. And it's 84 cc and 62 dimple, 62 plus dimple. These are the dimples you want to buy. The unequivocally, these are the dimples you want to buy because they're just. I mean, you could see my phone from right here, and like I said again, you want to buy coins that look dimple when you buy them. Sometimes you buy coins that say dimple and they don't look dimple or feel dimple, and that's just something you don't want to pass on to your customer. And so buying a coin like this. I mean, you guys are gonna love this coin if you end up picking it up. We have a few more coins to show you. This 1879 and 63. Nothing crazy, but a nice coin. 39D and 64. We have this 1899O and 63 dimple. And the question somebody asked is, why did you buy this coin of all coins? I think Casey asked that. And I said, um, you know, the last one, 63 dimple, sold in 2017. So when you see a really big gap in terms of auction comps, sometimes you can buy a coin at the market rate because one hasn't been offered in years and somebody needs this for their set. Once again, it looks like a really nice dimple, has really nice surfaces, especially for a New Orleans man. Last one I want to show you is this 36D Buffalo Nickel. Nice flashy coin, and I wanted to thank you guys for watching, and uh, yeah, check out these coins. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on uh, the subject matter today. Do you find it interesting? Is it something that you, may, you might want to practice in the future, just so you can have more people to buy from? Uh, if you guys want to subscribe, we have a video to show you how to subscribe down below. Subscribe so we can get 5,000 subscribers. We want to hit that milestone. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video.